Attention, ladies and gentlemen, and all ships at sea. I'm Arlo Wazzo, and this is Jackie with Arlo. Tonight, we'll be talking about the great crisis that has befallen our great city of Waffleville. Of course, I'm talking about the severe crow epidemic that has swept our fine community. It has gotten so bad, our mayor, Big Jim Papper, has declared a state of emergency. We are living in scary times, folks. Very scary times. And uh, I have some facts about... Where did I put my facts? She... Oh, here it is. <laughs> Under the pillow. Here's some... Uh -uh. Here are some crow statistics. <clears throat> All city of Waffleville shows have priority. 75% of the public access show must be locally produced. City of Waffleville equipment cannot be used to record or edit public access show. What is this rubbish? <laughs> this has nothing to do with crows. I, oh, oh that's, these are the new public access uh, guidelines. <laughs> we don't need those. <laughs> so uh, where did I put my facts at? And, oh, right under, right under my nose. <laughs> okay, here's them. Um, here's some crow statistics about the crisis. <clears throat> Here we go. The crows, numbering in millions, have swarmed downtown Waffleville since the beginning of the season. They have terrorized shop owners and local politicians alike with their calls and their poop. <clears throat> the crows have attacked children and small animals. No one is quite sure how many have been attacked, but a local dog walker has informed me, and this is a scoop, a yakking with Arlo exclusive, <laughs> that since the crows' arrival, the city's Pekingese population has decreased by 98%. 98%! Oh, the humanity! It also has been estimated that the crows are producing over 18 tons of dung per day. And they are scattering their mess all over the area. I, it, it, no one, I repeat, no one is safe from this sinister snow. As you can see, we're facing a very scary and messy problem. But there is good news. The mayor has appointed a 50-member committee to come up with ways to get rid of the crows. And tonight we'll be uh, speaking with one of the members of the committee. Allow me to introduce Miss Toffee Clatch. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hello there, Miss Clatch. What's up? So we've been making television, right? Yes, yes, we're filming right now. Right now, yo? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so trippin'. Hey, y'all, look who's in the house. Miss Toffee's in the, his house, and she's looking fine. <laughs> well, I, I can certainly vouch for that. <laughs> oh, don't be making no moves on me, because Miss Toffee may be all flavor, but she ain't handing out no free samples. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So is this your crib? Oh man, I hope not, because it'd be smelling like my grandmama's basement, all dank and stink. Little advice from Toffio? Put some of those pine tree thingies and smack them up on your walls, because nobody wants to be swimming in the stink. So I guess you're an interior decorator. No, I just know style, b dog. Because Miss Toffee's always styling. <laughs> right, right. Uh, so, Miss Class, how did you get involved with the mayor's uh, crow committee? Nothing much to tell you. I was just doing some business, and old Mac Daddy gives me a ring on his cell and says, We need a favor. So I says, What's your favor? And it better not be nasty, because that ain't no concern of mine. And he says he needs some warm bodies or something to fill up a gang. And I said, Well, you've come to the right place, because Miss Toffee's body's always hot. So, this. Uh, Mac Daddy? Is, is this is this the mayor? Yo, are you even paying attention? Because it doesn't sound like you're paying attention. And that's just plain rude, yo. Yo, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I just want to make it clear to the uh, viewing audience that your Mac Daddy is also the mayor. Well, he better be. And he's going to be finding me gone. If he does the dissing, he's going to be kissing my gangsta booty. I hope you don't mind me asking, but... What exactly is your relationship with the mayor? Oh, excuse me, yo, but that ain't none of your business. 
What goes on between Toffee and her man stays between Toffee and her man. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Uh, the mayor asks you to be on his committee, and you agree. You were regular transcript. And, uh, so now you're a member of the Crow Committee. So how's that working out? You know, I can't really say because I don't go to all the meetings, yo, but, uh, but yeah, that one I did go to, uh, yeah, that was a regular snooze. Just a bunch of Todds talking about crow crap. And Toffee wants no part of that because, uh, I got more better things to do with my time than talking about birds turds. So, I guess you don't really have a solution to the crow problem. Yo, I say wrap some pampas around the butts. <laughs> Do birds even have butts? No, the poop is coming out of somewhere, right? <laughs> and I have a windshield to prove it, yo! <laughs> you were so messed up, dog. You were so messed up. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess on that note, I guess we'll wrap things up. Uh, any final thoughts? Uh, yo, yo, yo. My homegirl Drew wants to give a shout-out to somebody. Is that cool? Well, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yo, Drew, get over here, girl. Hey, what's up, girlfriend? Oh, uh, not so much. Just chilling and telling about it. You're really good at this TV stuff. You're natural. Yo, yo, you think You should so? be taking some classes or something. Oh, hold up, Miss Toffee. Don't be taking school. She's too cool. Uh, excuse me, ladies. Could you, could you wrap this up? Oh, take a chill pill, oh. Arlo. You better wrap it up, homie. Say your piece before Carson Daly goes postal. Okay, this is for uh, Dwayne Mitchell. Dwayne, if you're watching, we are through. I'm dumping your butt and finding myself a real man. So take one last look, because you can't have this. You go, girl. You can have it. You can't can have, have it. I know you, you want it. it. I know you want it. I know you want it. We interrupt this program to bring you a Channel 74 News Bulletin. Hello, I'm Rodney L. The host of Community Exposure, the president of the Conceited Society, and Buxom County's Public Information Officer. As you know, our community is having a crow problem or, as the mayor calls them, flying dogs. It's terrible. They seem to be everywhere. But I'm proud to say that is no longer the case. In an effort to get rid of this nuisance and seeing a chance to get another key to the city, me and my hunter pals got together and shot all the crows. It took a few days and a few sex packs but I'm proud to say Waffleville is now crow free the crow's reign of terror is now over <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.